guys so it's me again um i just looked on my page and i'm like super super excited um for me at least i know it's not like you know million views or anything like that but for me it means a lot um so i did a look of uh beyonce and um i'm trying to um it's going crazy and i'm just trying to do another look by her um that i loved the first one that i did um it's uploaded on my YouTube page already and the second one that I'm doing is the video with her and um, Drake uh, I think the music is called Maine I'm gonna verify that and post it up for you guys anyway I've already done the contouring I've already put on my foundation I've already done my eyebrows I'm just gonna go ahead go in and um, do the eyes like the way she, uh, it was done for her in the video you anyway, know let me just get right into it <clears throat> so I'm gonna be using my um, Bear Study by MAC. I'm going to apply that to my lids. And the look doesn't seem complicated at all. It's nothing like super, super artistic. And I would definitely suggest that if anybody wants to repeat this for like New Year's um, party, like a New Year's Eve party, go ahead and try it. And if it's your first time doing um, your makeup, I remember my first time, like, I wasn't, like, you know, daring. I didn't go dramatic. So if you want to, like, you know, you can lessen the um, the eyeshadow. You can like, make it less intense if you don't feel comfortable. Anyway, I won't stare, stare you wrong. I promise. Um, so, yeah, so I'm just going to get into it. I'm going to also now be using my, if you see me looking all over, I'm looking for my stuff. Um, I'm using my NYX palette um the shadow and i'm going to be using the black color that came with it now the look that i'm talking about is actually super super cute i saw it today so what i noticed was the outer v was black and I hope I do this look justice. And so they fan it out. And now when you see me looking away, all I'm trying to do is look at the picture so I can get it as close as possible to what I'm looking at, guys. And I'm definitely going to post the picture up for you guys so you guys can um, see what I attempted to copy. Or I shouldn't say copy, I should say imitate. But either way, <laughs> one sounds, you know, uh, I guess like one sounds like I didn't steal it. And I actually just like imitated it, imitated art, let's just say. So it looks like that so far. I did the outer V's. I'm going to, of course, use my Japanese brush, my angled brush. I'm just going to go in, sweep it, just to blend it. Blend it out. Next, I'm going to be using my Japanese brush. And it looks like this, guys, there's no number associated with it. I'm going to be going in and using, oh, sorry, guys, um, Creative Me number one palette. And it looks like this. I'm going to be using this color at first. And what I'm seeing in the picture is this. So they went out here. And softly apply the color into the crease. And blended it with the purple. So going back again using my angled Japanese brush, I am now going to sweep it outward for a blended effect. You don't want to it was like nice and clean, guys. 
So just keep going, keep going, keep going patiently. And eventually it's going to be blended. So there it is. So repeat, of course, on the other eye. Don't poke your eye out, guys. I know, I know. You guys love my sense of humor. They went in on the outer V, and I am going to be using this darker purple. Using the same Japanese brush. And they went over the black with the darker purple. There it is. When you see me looking away, I'm either looking at the picture or to the mirror. So that's that. Again, you have to blend it. Go ahead using my Japanese brush. I'm blending outward. So it's like from mid eye or mid brow. Take it out. So that's what we look like so far. And next, what I notice is a teal color in the center of the eye. So for my version, I am going to be using NYX Peacock, I think it's Hayon. <laughs> Ooh, how exotic. And the color looks like that, guys. So what I saw was, it's the whole mid eye. Don't take it all the way to the outer V. You just want to focus solely on the center of the eye, like that. So far, we're looking good. Uh, next, I notice it has a shimmer to it. So I'm going to be going into my 88 Ultra Shimmer Palette uh, by Coastal Scents. And I am going to be applying that color right there. So with my same, the same Japanese brush, I'm going to go over the peacock with that particular color. Once again, stay focused on the middle, in the middle of the eye. I really want to do the makeup artist proud in case she ever comes across my video. So I'm going to go again and once again and blend because you don't want to look crazy. So we have the shimmer that we need. Um, next, they did the bottom, they smudged out the bottom of the eye and with that I am going to go back into my NYX eyeshadow the triple shadow triple shadows for sexy babes eyes only hey so it's right there I'm gonna go in sorry guys using my ultra professional um, small eye shader it's called it looks like that I'm gonna go in with the black and just do the bottom lid just smudge it out. So there you go guys. Um, next, I am looking at the picture and I noticed that her waterline is actually um, white. They used white for the inner the bottom waterline. So for that I'm going to be using my NYX 906 white and I'm going to be doing that. So all you have to do is just go in, use it and rim your next I noticed that the uh, inner eye of hers has kind of a little bit of a shimmer to it. So I'm going in and I'm using my Sephora Aspen Summit number 23. Let's see if I can bring that closer for you guys to see. 
and I am going to be now doing the inner corner of the eye, just brightening up a little bit. that um, her lashes are her own, I'm going to assume. Uh, I don't notice that there's like, you know, um, I could be wrong, there could be lashes, but from my um, interpretation, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and use, uh, stay with my own lashes. I am using uh, Great Lash by Maybelline from New York, and this is very black. It's noir, intense. Then I'm just going to clean up. Uh, I'm just going to continue or finish with my contour that I didn't do till the end. Simply because I wait till the end in case I have any fallout. I can clean them out. I'm going to clean that up. I noticed she had like you know it's like super bright under her eyes so we'll keep it clean and then I'm just going to be using my Revlon H Defying with DNA Advantage and the color is light pale a zero five and I'm just gonna use my real technique brush and uh, I'm just gonna sweep that under my eye And just make it like you know nice clean and crisp so now um, I notice her cheeks are peachy pink so for my version I am going to be using um, by Mac it's called pinch o peach I use it in the last video as well and using my kabuki brush uh, this is eye on beauty kabuki brush I'm just gonna tap it and go right along the line as to where I contoured and I am going to be applying my peach o peach just giving it a glow so there we go guys finally the piece oh resistant <laughs> you didn't know I spoke French anyway um it's 095 creme brulee um, <clears throat> by Revlon I'm gonna be using it's kind of like a neutral there's a hint of pink a little bit but I'm just gonna be using this color uh, it's a subtle lip with a dramatic eye so so now to add just a little bit of pink to my lip what I'm gonna be doing is using it's jingling by benefit I'm going to be applying that. And mixing it in. So there you go, guys. There it is. And I am for sure going to be taking a picture. Uh, kudos once again to um, Beyonce's uh, makeup artist. It's because of you I want to do this. And um, yeah. Or I want to imitate the look. <laughs> and I hope you like it. I hope I did you proud. Don't forget guys, subscribe, rate, and comment down below.